the Fibonacci series and its uses. What is the Fibonacci series? It is a series of numbers starting from zero where every number is the sum of the two numbers preceding it. For example, the number 2 is found by adding the two numbers before it, 1 plus 1, and 3 is found by adding the two numbers before it, which is 1 plus 2, and then 5 is 2 plus 3, and so on till infinity. Here are the first 50 Fibonacci numbers for you. Originally, the Fibonacci series started with 1. However, in modern usage, the sequence starts with 0. The sequence of xn of the Fibonacci numbers is defined by the recurrence relation. The formula is xn is equal to xn minus 1 plus xn minus 2. For example, the ninth term is calculated like this. x9 is equal to x9 minus 1 plus x9 minus 2, which is x8 plus x7. x8 is 21 and x7 is 13. So when you add 21 plus 13, you get x9, which is 34. The Fibonacci sequence is named after the Italian mathematician Leonardo of Pisa, known as Fibonacci. His 1202 book Liber Abaci introduced the sequence to Western European mathematics, although the sequence has been described earlier in Indian mathematics. The sequence appears Sanskrit prosody as early as 200 BC. When we make squares with the widths in the series, we get a beautiful spiral. This is called the Fibonacci spiral. This spiral is found in nature, art, architecture and many more. Here are a few for you to see. Now, let's see the applications of this sequence. One of its main application is in the field of stock market analysis, the rise and fall of stocks. The technique used here is called the Fibonacci retracement technique. In software engineering, it is used to analyze the complexity of a task. It is also used to calculate the population of bees. It can be used in areas of combinatorics. In mathematics, it is applied in integer solutions, Pascal's triangle, Pythagorean triples and many more. It is also used in programming and coding languages like C, C++, Java and many more. Okay, now I've got a puzzle for you. Let's see if we can figure it out. You can pause the video and try to figure out the answer. How many pairs of rabbits placed in an enclosed area can be produced in a single year from one pair of rabbits? If each pair gives birth to a new pair each month, starting with the second month. Have you figured it out? The answer is the Fibonacci series. We find that each pair, including the first pair, needs a month's time to mature. But one in production gives birth to a new pair each month. The number of pairs is the same at the beginning of each of the first two months. So the sequence is 1 and then 1. This first pair finally doubles its number during the second month. So that there are two pairs at the beginning of the third month. Of these, the older pair gives birth to a third pair the following month. So that at the beginning of the fourth month, the sequence expands 1, 1, 2 and 3. Of these three, the two older pairs reproduce, but not the youngest pair. So the number of rabbit pairs expands to five. The next month, three pairs reproduce, so the sequence expands to eight, and so, forth, so on and so forth. Well, this may sound a little confusing, so I have formulated a tabular column for you, so you can understand it better by looking at this table. So here we have the first pair. So then it becomes an adult. So the first pair gives birth to the second pair. 
and then the first pair gives birth to another pair the next month and then the second pair matures and then gives birth to the next pair so if you see the sequence it is one one two three five eight and so on and so forth till the twelfth month before I conclude I would like to share an interesting fact when we take any two consecutive Fibonacci numbers their ratio is very close to the golden ratio phi which is approximately 1.618 618. In fact, the bigger the pair of Fibonacci numbers, the closer the approximation. You can check it out yourself. Thank you.